everybody. I was just reading one of my favorite stories, and it got me thinking about how art can also tell a story. So that's what we're going to learn all about today is that artists use art to convey a message. They tell a story. Now it could be a made up story like using knights or aliens or monsters, um, but it also could be a story about something that happened in history or it could be um, something about what people do in everyday life. Okay, so let's take a quick look and learn a little bit more about how artists use art to tell a story. Hi, I'm Deja. And I'm Joseph. And, and this, this is Art Quest. Art Quest! Fred Grooms is a multimedia artist. He is a painter, sculptor, and printmaker. He uses art to tell stories. The swooping skyscrapers, colorful signs, and symbols tell me that this is New York City. It looks really noisy. I can almost hear the people shouting the car honking. There are lots of taxi cabs. This man is trying to hail a cab, but it's full. Everyone's in a hurry, even the cars and trucks. Look at all the travelers. There are people inside the train station, in the crosswalk, and others loading their luggage onto the bus. I wonder if they're coming or going. What else do you see? This man is working hard, keeping the streets clean. This runner is moving fast. I hope he doesn't run into that woman around the corner. I'd love to visit there someday. What kind of story can you tell through art? Because really, art, art is, is all around you. Artists have been using their art to tell us stories ever since the caveman days. They would draw pictures to tell us about the animals they hunted and life that they lived. Ancient Egyptians would use hieroglyphs to tell us about their gods and goddesses and their way of life. Even the Greeks would use their art to tell us stories about their adventures and historic battles. Art can tell us about famous people in historical times, show us ways that people lived in everyday life, or even stories about made-up adventures of knights and dragons. Norman Rockwell was a famous artist who did pictures of everyday life. Almost every painting he did told a different story. You can come up with your own idea when you look at a picture. So looking at this picture, what do you think this is telling us? What do you see? What do you notice? I see some very unhappy cheerleaders at the end of a basketball game because of the scoreboard and the way they are sitting. Hmm. But how do artists get their ideas for the stories that they want to tell? How do they make their stories come alive? Walt Disney and Pixar are one of the best storytellers. Let's take a quick look and see how they use art to tell their stories. To make a movie here at Pixar takes years, but it all starts with a story. Humans have been telling stories since we could speak, probably even before. We tell stories around the campfire. We write plays. We write novels, short stories. We make movies. We take photographs, tweet to each other. The list goes on. The power of story is that it has an ability to connect with people on an emotional level. One of the things you hear all the time, this advice, is write what you know. Now, as a kid, I was like, I don't want to write about suburban Minnesota. That's boring. I want to write about explosions and monsters and car chases. Well, what that actually means is, yeah, go ahead and write about monsters and explosions and car chases. But put something into it that talks about your own life, how you feel. Do you feel scared? Do you feel alone? Something from your own life will make that story come alive and not just be a boring car chase. When I started directing Monsters Incorporated, the way I'd pitch it is, it's about a monster who scares kids for a living, that's his job. He clocks in, he clocks out, he eats donuts and talks about union dues. And we thought that was a pretty funny idea. And sure enough, when I would tell it to people, they would smile. But when we told the story as a film, people started getting bored and restless. And they're like, I don't understand what this movie is about. Well, what I finally figured out was that it's actually not about a monster who scares kids. It's about a man becoming a father. And that was what was happening to me. So why write about what you know? Well, it's because probably what happened to you made you feel some particular way. And what you're trying to do really when you tell a story is to get the audience to have that same feeling. All right, so for this week's assignment, you are not going to tell me a story. You're going to show me a story. 
All right, so get your paper ready and you can use any materials you want. You can paint, you can draw, you can color, you can use colored pencils, okay? And I want you to show me a story, okay? So think of what kind of stories would you tell? Would it be a personal story, something that you did um, over vacation last week? Could it be something that happened to you last year? Maybe it's about one of your favorite characters, okay? Um, maybe it's a made-up story about an alien encounter attack coming to take over Templeton Center Elementary, okay? So it can be any story that you want. All right, so I can't wait to see what you come up with and um, share a little bit about it in the comments. All right, so have fun. Bye, guys.